Samuel Vera invaded the comic book world by starting his own company, Crazy Comics. From early on, illustrating came naturally for Vera. And here to share his sci-fi adventure series with us, Samuel Vera with... There's an alien in my toilet. Hello. How are you? Good, how are you? Pretty good, thank Thanks you. Thanks for coming in. Thank you. This is so exciting. At the Kids Comic Conference. As publishers, need to make certain that we get we have something for everybody. Very much. And tell me about this little green guy. This is kind of your signature character, right? Yes. There's an alien in my toilet. My name is Samuel Vera, and I'm the creator, writer, and artist of There's an alien in my toilet. Your little thing with uh, Santa Claus and, and aliens invading Earth and, and deciding Santa Claus is the guy that got to go after. Uh, would make a <laughs> wonderful uh, animated series. And in my toilet, which is my newest project, which is a comedy series in old ages, um, comedy adventures. Well, Rudy's been exploited right now because he has a cameo in the adventure of, of Cosmic Dwarf. Um, he's in Beauty's Adventures, he's in the Lady of My Toilet, he's in Hi, I'm Beauty for he's all over the place, all about Beauty right now. Project Duty! Early on, with the immediate response and appeal of this name in my toilet, I felt that I needed to have other options for families, for kids, for all ages. And one of the things I thought of was having a coloring book, right? Because what I found was a lot of the parents gravitated towards this project of mine and they were asking for other things. So here's what, here is what's going to be available on the Kickstarter is, is the other toilet coloring book. So basically, kids will be able to color Samurai Duty, uh, one of the early posters. This is one of the earlier posters that I did. We well, actually did one of the first covers that I did for Disney and my toilet. And then basically it was the UFO hovering over the house with um, the family approaching the toilet bowl. And and then from actual pages from the book. So covers, from cover art to actual pages, this is gonna be available on the campaign as well for everyone. <music> Have you seen in the previous episodes, my goal was to build an entire world. Not only just a comic book series, but a trading card game. Now with that, you have a lot of characters. So how do you keep it with all the characters? So I created the guidebook, right? The complete guidebook to do to your friends. This is available on the campaign. It's gonna be remastered. So the original one is in black and white. <laughs> Excuse me, the original one is in black and white. But it has characters present in the book and future characters to come that you're going to be able to see and i'll give you your uh like here's an example so you're gonna have the character design and bio it's gonna be colored the, the remastered version but special agent john doe now he's responsible for tracking down the alien crash site and he's the head of the joint extraterrestrial task force jetf the master interrogator there are no documents which prove his true identity nor who funds the organizations to which he's employed by. So it's a government black ops organization that hunts extraterrestrials and he's on the hunt for duty. Then you have um, Ken Ketchum, right? So, which is, a, is an organization that basically they, they catch stray animals. Uh, you have NPOW, Nasty Piece of Work, which is this group that's going after duty. So there's a whole lot of characters, a whole lot of fun. And this is 24 pages of, of full color character designs and bios. So if, for those of you who really want to get a jump start of the trading card game, remember, there's going to be several volumes of the game that's uh, um, coming out. And so the first volume is on this Kickstarter. So if you want to get ahead and know what the future characters are going to be and get an understanding of how to play the game, this is the first step in it. So you got the first volume trading cards, you got the guidebook, 
then the rule book and gameplays coming out at the end of this year. took seriously and I got excited about was presentation. I wanted to make an impact when I was setting up my tables at events. And uh, my last event was San Diego Comic Con and I wanted to make a big splash. So I wanted my own UFO. So in this box, <laughs> I haven't taken it out in over 12 years, I haven't taken it out this box. And here it is, here is the UFO. Um, that uh, was made for this nail into my toilet. And you can see it's still in pristine shape. And these gems are supposed to signify the lights uh, on the UFO. And then on the bottom, you'll see that there are lights on the bottom and then there's this rod here. So I had it hanging up at the San Diego Comic-Con. It was floating, but it was being held up by a PVC pipe. And it was floating above my table. And it, it, it created quite a stir. Um, that was probably the best event for Disneyland in my toilet at San Diego Comic Con because uh, all Disneyland in my toilet books were sold out. Everything that I had on inventory that weekend, those five days for San Diego Comic Con was sold out. Um, so the rest of the time I was doing commissions. Uh, but the, you know, your presentation is, is important when you're at an event. and. I had fun designing that. Not only that, but there was also Duty's head coming out of the toilet bowl of uh, my table, and you'll see the photo reference. Uh, so I'm excited about what 2282 is gonna look like and how can I take it a step further, right? But that all depends on this campaign. So, which is why, you know, I'm bringing Duty back to Kickstarter and I need you to help me bring um, Duty to the masses. You know, so the, the the opportunity for me is about reach. So hopefully uh, you enjoy these uh, episodes and you'll be there the day that we launch. So the February 15th, we'll be going live on YouTube at 8 o'clock p.m. Eastern Standard Time. And I hope to see you there. Thanks again for watching. This is a comedy series. It's about this egocentric alien, thinks he knows it all, who crash lands on Earth and gets himself into all sorts of crazy antics. And... I and Duty, Duty and I <laughs> need your help.